What is up everyone and welcome back to Information Overdrive. So in the channel on the Patina totally related about cars and bikes. So you will cars and bikes like if you don't get interested in the mark on the channel, subscribe and in the video like manga. So in the video, I'm gonna alternators. So let's get straight into the video. It's not a game, it's a Alternator on the Patina, one of the electrical components in a car or a bike. So if alternate the responsible electrical components of power pundit when the engine is on. If the engine off fire engine, all components will power the battery But if the engine on the state, the alternator will all components will power supply So now we have a very common question If the car or bike is on the car or bike, it will start the battery and battery charge So if the battery charge is on the battery charge, it will be a component That is the alternator So if the alternator is on the alternator, the power is produced And the produced power will help the battery recharge and the other components will help the power so, if we are recharging the battery, we are starting the starter motor with a very heavy amount of current. So, if we are discharging the heavy amount of current, that will be discharged. So, the battery is in the optimal condition, the alternator is in the charge. So, if we are using the alternator, it is directly connected with the engine. So, if we are using the alternator, it is a shaft and a pulley attached. So, in this shaft, we are connected with the engine and with a belt. So, if we are using the alternator, it is a magnet. So, as the alternator and the engine are connected to the engine, the engine and the alternator are connected to the shaft. So, the alternator and the shaft are connected to the magnet. So, as you can see, the alternator has current carrying coils. So, Fleming's left hand rule is an electric current produced. This electric current is AC current, that is alternative current. So, if we are charging the alternator and the battery recharge and other components like our windshield wiper, our lights, our horn, our stereo system will power the battery. So, if we are using the components, we will go to DC supply and our alternator will change the supply to AC current. So, if we are using AC current and DC current, we will run the battery and the other components. So, if we are using the alternator, we will use the alternator to repair the alternator. What we will do with the rectifier is that we will use AC current and we will convert the DC to the other supplies. Like we will recharge the battery and the other components like the headlight or horn. We will use DC supply to the rectifier and the AC current and we convert the DC to the other supplies. So, we have the alternator engine directly connected. So, the voltage produced is directly proportional to the speed of the car. If we have the car slow, the voltage produced is less. If we have a car fast, the voltage produced is very high. So, if we know that the car is a 12 volt battery. So, if we have a 12 volt battery, we will use a 12 volt battery. If we have a 15 volt or 17 volt battery, we will use the same voltage as well as the components. So, it's better to have a stable and constant power supply. That is 12 volt. So, this is why we have a voltage regulator. If you cut the voltage of the regulator, you can cut the 15V and 17V and cut the 12V and use the battery and use the other components of the battery. So this is how an alternator works. So if you do the alternator, you can produce a magnet and current carrying conductor. This is an AC electricity. If you cut the electricity of the AC electricity, we use the DC electrical components like battery, windshield wiper, headlights, horns, etc. So, we can rectify the AC current and DC current. So, the DC current is fluctuating current. So, the fluctuating current is stable and constant. So, we can apply a voltage regulator here. So, if we use the voltage regulator, if we use the voltage of 15V or 17V, we can cut down to 12V and we can use the electrical components. Like, we can recharge the battery, we can supply the headlights and windshield wipers. So, now this is an alternative basic function. So, in the alternative, we have both cars and bikes. This is the same value, but the cars and bikes have different sizes and different applications. In our cars, we have wipers and stereo systems, but we don't have bikes. So, the alternative size is a little less. So, I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in a new video tomorrow.